That is a 2023 KTM 300 TBI fuel injected two stroke. And today, well, we got a lot of testing for you. First up, let's baseline the bike. Stock pipe, stock silencer, map one, map two. Number two, Bill's pipe and silencer. We've got the Bill's pipe and silencer mounted up and installed. We'll test that, map one, map two. Compare that for you guys. Let's get to it. Let's see what kind of power this fuel injected 300 two stroke makes on the HP race development dyno. First up, fellas, let's take a look at the stock pipe with his stock 300 SX TBI map green and map white. So the green map, luckily for us in our chart colors, happens to be the green chart, and the white map happens to be this red chart. And for all intents and purposes, there is zero difference between these two. This little difference here is just a little bit of noise in the data. We did this test quite a few times, and it would look different every time, just a little bit across the curve. So. Is this bike different than stock? I don't know. Uh, he did have the bike looked at at the Mini O's race last year because it cut out on him, just died. They think they found a bad electrical connection or a loose connection and then they said they fixed that. But he wasn't aware of or told that they made any map changes. So we tested this a bunch of times. Map one versus map two seems to be absolutely zero difference on the dyno. Now, this customer says that he thinks the green map is a little bit better on the track but he also says he can't really tell and it's just maybe mental where he's supposed to think that the green map is better, so he chooses it. As for as far as the dyno goes, there's zero difference. Uh, I believe we tested this at quarter and half throttle and we did see a little bit of difference between the two maps and that's probably what we are feeling out on the track. So on the track, uh, there seems to be some part throttle differences. Bill's pipe is a little bit smaller manufacturer than say Pro Circuit or FMF, but they make absolutely beautiful pipes. Bills was a staple in the industry back in the 90s and uh, 2000s, and he makes a great product. They're well known for awesome products. So this one mounted up and fit the bike to perfection. Huge kudos to the guys over there. Uh, the jigging was just about dead on, dead on the money. So really impressed. So let's see what this bad boy will do once we get her up on the dyno. Excited to see what she can do. Here we go with the Bill's pipe and silencer here in red, and that's the OEM pipe and silencer, green map in green. We got massive performance increases in peak torque value. I mean, right here, <clears throat> that's a four horsepower difference. Doesn't look like a lot on this chart because this chart is so big, you go from zero to 50, but it is a four horsepower improvement. So in that little spot, and it, they kind of come together here, right where the stock one peaks, Right, so almost the same horsepower, half a horse there, but then over here in Overrev, we're looking at a six horsepower difference right there. So the stock bike peaked around 48 horsepower, absolute best run. We didn't get crazy peak peak horsepower number improvements with the Bills pipe, but we got really nice, like I said, four horse there. We've got over here in Way and Overrev, you've got uh, six, nine horsepower right there, and it kind of trends that same direction between those areas. So is this, a transformative pipe that's just way more horsepower? No, because KTM's smart, but I have to give my hats off to these Bills guys. It runs really good. It extends the power band. That's something all of you 300 owners want, and it picks up a little bit here. Now, you're gonna get different results with different pipe temperatures. We tested this pipe <clears throat> a heck of a lot. So I'll show you like another run. These are back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back type pulls. So here, the pipe was a little bit better everywhere, better off bottom, all the way up, a little bit over the top, and it continues on. And that's a fantastic result. And this green map result on the stock pipe is the absolute best run we got out of it from bottom to top. And then here's another one, another run that we did. And here it's a lot better off the bottom and kind of peaks up here and then it signs off a little earlier. Now, if you want to take a guess as to what that is, this is a cold pipe pull. This is a first pull, first run when the pipe hasn't acquired a lot of heat yet. And then as you add pulls to it, back to back to back, it, uh, 
adds pipe temperature, which makes it change its characteristic, and that's why you see those big overrev gains. So this pipe is just better everywhere. Like I said, we didn't get any big variances in the stock pipe uh, other than it just made the best power when it was hot and it made the best power everywhere, which is a good pipe. That's a good design. But this Bill's pipe makes more bottom when it's a little bit cold and it still makes more top and then it continues to make more top and over rev as it gets hot. So fantastic job on the pipe and silencer combo from the Bill's guys. And that fellas, well, that's our little secret we're working on. That is the Agit SX1 Pro two-stroke ECU. It is not officially released for the 250 or 300. There's no product for that yet, but we're working on that product, trying to be the first place to make that happen for you guys. So we have the bike running and we're getting the tune up dialed in. Let's uh, show you real quick. Get the fuel pump kicked on here. Got this bad boy fired up and running. There's a stock ECU there. Got our beautiful Bill's pipe system on. Runs pretty good, actually. We got good. Got that running pretty good. We're making big progress, big strides on that. So check back uh, pretty soon. Maybe within a month, maybe not. We'll see. It takes a lot of R&D to get these things to work as they should on the track, etc. But check back soon. We should have that uh, available on the website in a YouTube video with what we're doing with it available shortly. Well, that sums it up, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Derek Harris here at HP Race Development. As always, like, subscribe if you haven't already. We really appreciate it. On the road to 6,000 subscribers coming up soon. So thank you, guys. I'll see you guys next time.